every semester exam you will be having certain one two three four courses which are directly aligned with gate syllabus if you are starting even earlier than that that will be a bonus to you and in that particular bonus you can give yourself more relaxation per day in my experience so that you can understand it is easy to balance if you know where you are getting the time during the rest period during the other period only just because semester exam will eat up a lot of time from your entire duration everyone my name is vishwadeep and i welcome you all on pw gatewala channel today in this specific session i am going to talk about is it really difficult or challenging or tough or sometimes if it is possible whether it is a possible or not that can i balance college and gate exam both as we all know that gate exam of course it's a national level exam and if you are preparing for you know top top level branch something like computer science or maybe uh, you know civil engineering then definitely number of aspirants are also very very high so in that case if along with that particular college assignments and then submissions then lab reports projects semester exams vivas and lot of things are there of course attendance criteria is there how can i manage my gate preparation is it challenging see the thing is every year lakhs of students are preparing for gate exam and majority of them who are cracking the gate exam who are getting really good rank majority of them are from college itself means they are in their engineering itself how they manage them if it is very challenging i'll open the layer one by one but before that i would like to tell you one thing see this is the hill top on which we will have to climb okay if this is the case like if i am starting from here this much i'll have to climb this is my steepness in the particular hill climbing but let's suppose i am not starting from this point and i am starting from this point then what happens the steepness becomes even more harder to climb up this particular difference which i am showing here is the time if you start gate preparation early every day you will have to spend lesser number of hours to cover up those number of hours for gate preparation revision practice test and completion the courses and everything but if you start late and you try to accommodate every single thing within those number of hours only or those number of days only then of course that you will have to put every day a lot of efforts the steepness will be higher and because of that it becomes challenging so many students are starting gate preparation early but they don't get serious about it and again they are not utilizing the appropriate time per day and hence it becomes difficult lot of things get piled up and at the end they end up with the same situation that they started early but that's not the case so the very first thing which i would like to tell you today is if you want to crack gate exam you want to prepare for gate exam along with your college start early now there will be lot of students who will be afraid of sir we did not start early can we start now yes of course yes see one year is the ideal time you can have for your gate preparation but if you are starting even earlier than that that will be a bonus to you and in that particular bonus you can give yourself more relaxation per day you can give yourself more time for revision at the end more time for practice more time for test there are so many aspirants who are preparing for gate they don't know this particular thing that if you are spending your 60% time or 100% time for total gate preparation in that 60% time only you can take for your course coverage remaining 40% time you will have to keep for at the end revision practice test and then improvement of yourself so that you can improve your problems you can work on those areas where you are having the mistakes etc so 40% time if you want to keep at the end for revision and practice start early and be serious as soon as possible if you put the efforts daily to daily some limited number of hours definitely you can crack it see whenever i interact with the college students i always encourage them to have their first choice of career option in their hand before they get out of the college with the degree 
I always encourage them. Why? Just because I want to tell them that you can save a lot of time. You don't have to be, you know, a struggler or a dropper or something. You don't have to waste time. After completion of BTEC, you will search, oh, now I don't have any job. What should I do? I don't have any kind of career option. What should I do, etc. So you don't worry about it. If you don't want to worry about it at the end, after your BTEC completion, then do it before. Get afraid of the things which could have been done with you, which will be done with you, which will happen with you after BTEC. So just be serious before as soon as possible and you can be on the top. Start early and spend minimum enough time per day. So it becomes easier. See, the thing is what happens initially, it will be hectic for you to pull out every day two to four hours or maybe five hours. But just because it will eventually become your habit of the, you know, uh, schedule, then you will be comfortable with it. College, then apart from that, whatever time you are having, then some time you can have for your refresh period and some time you can spend for gate preparation. So that every day, if you are spending some number of hours also, what happens? You can cover enough number of hours. But if you can't, then what happens if you are starting late from here, let's say, then till here, you'll have to cover up more number of hours per day. And this is definitely challenging. You cannot, you know, prepare like your semester exam. You remember your semester exams in during your semester exams. What exactly happens? You work or you study entire day and night. No free time at all. Can you do it for one month? Of course, not possible just because you are working like anything. You are not even going anywhere. You are not doing anything. You are not playing. You are not having any kind of communication with your friends. Much of the games, etc. Nothing you are doing. No social media, etc. For two days, paper done. Then again, two days, paper done like this you do. So if the same situation you'll have to do for gate preparation, it will be very, very hectic and you cannot sustain with that kind of a schedule. Even though if it is having little lesser also, no, of course, not sustainable for longer time. Hence, start early so that every day, if you put three to four hours, five hours a day preparation, that will be enough for entire year. When you get extra time, let's say on Sundays and Saturdays, you can put little extra time per day and you can remove some of your you know unnecessary stuffs and you can still get time to roam with your friends to go and have the parties etc with your friends over the weekend next thing is two classes each day if you take two two hours each and self-study per day you can take then you can easily balance see i myself have cracked gate exam in my final year and uh, my all india rank was this in last year Though I was having one and a half years of preparation first year, I mean, in first time we I have prepared for gate in third year itself, written the gate exam with six months preparation with just basics to be covered. And then after that next year, I prepared again, got this rank. So see what happened with me, right? I was doing the same thing every day. I was putting approximately four to five hours per day without any indiscipline or without any break. Almost if I, some kind of a day happens when you are not able to put those number of hours. So I was covering those or over the weekend so that my week is sorted per week. If I had to study this much, I'm studying doesn't matter if one day is lost because of some reason other day I'm covering it. So you can do that two to hours each day. If you can do the lump on the longer run, you can easily sustain. Now, the next thing is your college task. See, you have lot of time during your college, but you don't realize between two lectures, lot of time, sometimes five, 10 minutes are there. Sometimes it happens that teacher is finishing the lecture 10 minutes ago and saying that you can just sit and relax. A lot of time it happens. So I, I used to do that in my college. I used to carry a lot of pending work of my gate preparation into the college. And if at all one 10 minutes or two types of, you know, two such kind of 10, 10 minute break I was getting between two lectures. I used to utilize it for solving my daily practice sheets or maybe, you know, revising the things or making the notes or whatever I could do. I used to utilize that time in my college so that I will not waste that particular buffer, which teacher is giving me, allowing me to do whatever I wanted to. And I could do it. 
Then other than that, I was having some lab works in my final year. I, I'll tell you my, my experience so that you can understand it is easy to balance if you know where you are getting the time. I was having lab work two hours per day, some different, different lab work, different, different courses. I used to finish that lab work quickly. So if two, two hour lab work is there, I used to finish it in maybe one hour or one and half hour or something. I always used to get some half an hour, minimum half an hour. I used to get in the lab work every day so that I could utilize that particular time for my gate progression. So if possible for you, you can take DPPs, practice sheets, you can take, you know, making the notes or any kind of work to the college. And if at all you get some time, library period is there where you are allowed to go to library and take out the books, etc. So a lot of such kind of stuffs were there in the college. I was able to and I was not compromising my attendance also in that case. Now let's come to the part of attendance. OK, so you have my maximum number of colleges are having now 80 percent criteria of semesters that you will have to be at, you know, in the college 80 percent of time. So I also had certain criteria prepared by me that I will go to college if at all sometime I'm getting, I will uh, certainly use it for gate preparation. Certainly, if I realize that most of the college students are not going to the college, why? Just because there is a festival before festival or after festival, so many students are not going, this particular attendance not being counted whatever let's say one particular uh, today's lecture i can bunk of course you all bunk i know that you all bunk the classes if at all any class you can bunk i'm not saying you will have to bunk but i'm saying that if you already decided that you will bunk this class i did this particular thing you can also copy it you can also you know apply the same thing all those classes which i bunked or all those days when i bunked the college I used to use it most of the time for gate preparation. Not always, of course. Sometimes you bunk the classes to enjoy with the friends also. So of course, sometimes 20, 30 percent of that particular bunked classes you can, of course, enjoy. But try if you are bunking one class every day for next five days, you can utilize four days for gate preparation, one day for your friends. Of course, you will you will say, sir, we want to enjoy with your friend, with my friends, etc. When I will enjoy. But when will you work for your career also? Even if you will enjoy with your friends only, then how you will get your career? Of course, for a better career, you'll have to spend more time on career and career is the thing which will be with you always, not your friends, not your family members, not even your parents. I left my house, my hometown and I'm living in Bangalore just for my career. And of course, you can also do the same thing. You will also do the same thing. You leave your house, your parents house, your parents, you will leave your entire family to settle into some other country or maybe state or maybe city. Just for what the sake of career. So career is that much important that you are leaving your family. Of course, for some time you can leave your friends. Sometimes I'm not saying that permanently you leave sometimes. So try to do that attendance criteria. If you have 20 percent time, you can leave the you know, attendance, then prepare it, use it for gate and refresh period. Apart from that semester exams, of course, if you are a college student in the semester exams, you have the courses which are exactly aligned with the gate. So the strategy of gate preparation say that first you prepare those courses which are there in your college semester exams. What will happen? You are anyway preparing gate for gate and you are preparing for your semester exams also. So you will be better in your lab work. You will be better in your submissions, etc. You will be better in your vivas and finally your exams also. You don't have to worry about it a lot. Every semester exam, you will be having certain one, two, three, four courses which are directly aligned with gate syllabus. So just check out in next semester, whatever courses you are having in your gate syllabus and semester syllabus, just cover those first. And next time, whenever in next semester, whatever courses are coming, cover those so that you will be having single time study and two types of targets are achieved. Now, the thing is what happens during the semester exams, when the actual exams happen, you will have to your, leave your gate preparation. Of course, at that particular time during YY, etc., you'll have to compromise your gate preparation. But 
between the semester exams, whatever time you get, one semester exam, next semester exam, you have approximately five to six months gap. That particular gap you will have to utilize at max, maximum. See, this is what happening right now. Gate 2025 is just one and a half month, you know, uh, away now. And many of the students are having their semester exams. And now they are coming to me and saying, sir, semester exam is there. How to continue gate preparation? And I told them always in my all of the strategy sessions, I have mentioned this particular point. If you are a college student, you will have to prepare during the rest period, during the other period only, just because semester exam will eat up a lot of time from your entire duration. So if you have one and a half month, you don't actually have one and a half month only for gate preparation. You have maximum 15 or 20 days for gate preparation. Remaining 20 days will go for the semester exam. So you'll have to plan it like that way that this much of time in my semester exam, it will be done. So I will have to cover up the remaining things in the remaining time. Whatever gate preparation I'll have to continue, I'll have to finish it up. And if you can crack that particular idea, I am telling you, you can be All India rank one. Yes, I am not saying wrong. There was a student computer science All India gate rank one in 2022. Abhinav Garg. Yes, his name is Abhinav Garg. You can search it on uh, LinkedIn. This boy has written semester exam. Yes, one of the paper on Friday and Saturday, he was having the gate examination next day immediately and he got All India rank one. Only thing he knew that during the semester exam, if I will not be able to prepare for gate, rest of the time I'll have to utilize maximum so that when the semester exam comes, I will be fully prepared for gate and for semester exam, I can fully devote my time. Okay, so skip the gate preparation during the exams and cover up your semester exams, which are the part of gate at first place and between the exams, whatever time you are having focus maximum for the gate. Most of the students are getting semester breaks also, winter and summer both, sometimes only in summers. But when you get the semester breaks, you can cover up your lost schedule, which you could lost because of your gate examination, something like a uh, bit because of your semester examination, something like in next year, May or June, you will be having semester exam. After that, you will be getting 15, 20 days or one month full off, no college, nothing, no any commitment, no any semester exams, no anything at all. So you can utilize more number of hours per day. When you are going to the college, you are spending a lot of time over there that is saved. You can just utilize it for gate preparation and whatever backlog you are having, which you could not cover during your semester exams that you can easily cover during this period of time of semester break. So these are some kind of, you know, points I wanted to highlight so that you can understand it is easy. Most of the students are able to crack it. But you know why? Just because they take tension pressure before when nobody is taking and they are preparing and they are covering every single thing beforehand so that when the semester exams comes or when the pressure of college comes, they are relaxed. When the actual pressure of great exam comes, they are relaxed. And most of the students who are not serious about their gate preparation or their career, they are not taking any tension. Oh, everything is cool and wow, everything is going on smooth, smooth, smooth. And then later on, when everything is coming, semester exam is coming. Yes, festivals are coming, uh, started from uh, August, September in India. Lot of festivals are coming. Every type of festivals are coming and then it lasts till uh, new year. So a lot of festivals are coming and in duration, in that duration, you will be having semester exams also in November, December and then February, you will be having gate exam. Everything is coming and you are overwhelmed with every type of, you know, feeling and everything you cannot make perfect. And because of that, it becomes challenging. So the thing is, gate examination preparation is challenging. If you want to cover up every single thing in lesser time, it is very relaxed and you can easily do sustainable preparation plan you can make if you start early and for longer duration, you can make a disciplined preparation. Okay, so I hope you understood all the points, but still if you have some queries or any kind of points or any kind of suggestions, please drop in the comment box so that I can review it. And if it will be possible, we'll make some more videos around those points. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Happy learning. Bye-bye.